Hi, what's up everyone? Today I'm back with the 1.16 Spigot server. And today I will be uh, installing Essentials X. First we're just going to paste the plugin in here. And then we're going to launch our server. Now that took quite a while, but I'm just going to stop the server now because we have loaded the files. And now we're going into the plugins folder and editing all of these files. Now I'm just going to start with this one. Um, I normally don't change anything here, so I just exit out. Here are the kits. Uh, if you would like to set up your own kits or uh, whatever, if you have a survival server or creative server or anything, you can set up kits and you can set up how often you would like people to be able to claim the kit. Uh, but as of for right now, I'm not going to change these. Uh, this is the tp random command. Um, this is just the biomes you don't get thrown into if you take a tp random. For survival server this would be really nice because you can set up a sign or something in um, the spawn. You can use that to be teleported to a random place. And of course you don't want to be thrown in the middle of a ocean or river biome. Uh, so that gives you a nice starting point to get away from the spawn. But as of right now I'm not going to change anything here. This one, I normally don't change anything. This is the worth. Uh, I like to change this but not right now. Uh, this is whatever everything is worth, like bread is 30 and wood is 0 0.50. Normally I don't change this quite a lot. This is just the pricing of everything if you want to use this file to price everything. Uh, everything is explained in the green lines. Uh, you can also use uh, the in-game command with set worth. Uh, I would prefer rather to do it in-game so you can see when you actually would you do it. And also I like to clean out all of this so I don't have uh, a worth of it set by standard so I can set my own worth of everything. Uh, but as of right now, I'm not going to change it because I don't have a real economy in-game yet. So um, once you start building the economy, you see how much pieces are worth. And uh, you just got to make it so it can't be broken and people can take advantage, adv advantage of this. Now over to the config file. Starting at the top, everything is explained in the green lines as every uh, other... Um, file we just went through. Like uh, here you can blacklist some uh, nicknames so people can't use them. Uh, hide the name if you're in vantage mode. Like this one is uh, the prefix for all nicknames. Uh, it depends on what type of server you're going for. This is the teleport. If you want people to be able to teleport, if you want a delay. Like uh, Let's say you want a 10 second delay, you can just type that in there. So people can't just instantly teleport home and back and home and back and wherever. And here's the delay, like if you have a PvP server, you might want a 3 second delay or anything. So people don't uh, take advantage of this while they're in combat. This is if they teleport to the center of the block or whatnot. Uh, here's one thing I always change, that's the mob spawn limit. Um, here are like disabled commands. Uh, all of this with the hashtag in front are lines that's either examples or explaining everything. Uh, so if you would like to disable a command you can just add it here like tp for example. Here are the social spy commands as seen here. People with social spy enabled can use these commands. Uh, all of the commands you can find on uh, the wiki for essentials. Here are some commands that will be disabled when a player is muted. For example, let's say you're uh, the admin, you want to mute somebody, then they can't use these commands. Here are player commands. Uh, a lot of these are uh, okay to have for player commands. Now, normally I use another 
plugin for uh, for the permissions and I will do that in another video but as of right now I haven't set up any permissions so I'm not going to do a lot there but some commands that I don't like players have I might just go here and like okay I don't want them to have the ability to take tools unless they have special permissions for it so uh, and this is just the kit tools not tools at all and like okay they can't see the real name of anyone for example uh, I'm not going to do that but all of these that says use it just means they're able to use the signs so all of these are okay as I can see it right now here are enabled signs uh, I like to have at least the buy sign and sell sign free kit repair weather I like to have at least those signs and the balance sign can be okay to have as well warp yeah we need to have warp enabled unless you use uh, portal I also use that but I gotta set that up with the permissions uh, time yeah we can have a time sign okay that's fine here are how many signs you can use per second backup uh, the backup interval I um, like to change this as I see uh, how much we change on the server because if you change a lot on the server you want to have the backup faster if you do kind of slow work and work alone you might want to have it to a longer period because it will take some of the power from the server here are the groups I don't normally start to edit this until I have a few other plugins set up it's more like this is just a foundation you lay it on and once you get other plugins you go back and forth between those plugins and this plugin and you set it up so it's nice and balanced like if you have prison and you have an economy and you have uh, lucky perms for permissions and this and then you go back and forth between all of them and get it nice and synced up so everybody does their job of the plugin remove god on a disconnect i would like to enable this i don't want people to automatically be in god mode if they were in god mode now you don't normally get god mode unless you're in uh, op uh, or admin or anything but even then i want you to go back to not being in god mode just for the sake of it auto off key uh this is set for five minutes if you would like to change it it's up to you uh five minutes is an okay time for me this is if you want to kick them when they're afk uh minus one means that they don't get kicked i believe one is when they will be kicked uh, i don't see the point of kicking afk players but um that's fine uh, you can freeze AFK players if you want to. You can disable item pickup while AFK if you want to. Like if they are just mob farming and whatnot, you can disable the AFK so they can't AFK farm. Uh, and here are all the ways to cancel the AFK, like on interact, move, chat. Uh, sleep ignores AFK players, that's nice to have to true. Because then even if some people are AFK, you don't need them to sleep. Although I normally use another plugin for sleep. Uh, sleep ignore vanish players, that's nice. Now we're about halfway through the form. Here is a part I like to mess around with uh, sometimes. It's custom join messages and custom quit messages. And also custom new username message. You can, if you like implement this, it says um, the player's display name. This is the username, so I might copy this and like join message. I'll just do this, joined the server. Now you have a custom join and quit message. You can do it a lot more advanced or what you would like to do, but uh, I just stick with that for now. Maximum amount of mails that can be sent to it in a minute. This again depends on how large your server are. If you have a thousand people, you probably don't need a thousand mail per minute because the likelihood of everyone sending a mail at the same time is pretty small. Here are uh, some command cooldowns if you would like that. For example, if somebody used uh, the time set day command or uh, 
the weather command or anything, you would maybe want a cooldown so they couldn't just spam it all day. As of right now, this is false. Um, I think I'm going to keep it false. Uh, just because of the line here that it might be useful to prevent players accidentally selling named items. Like, if you have a diamond chestplate that's fully enchanted and uh, yours and whatever, you might not want to sell it. So this prevents you from allowing you to sell it at all with the sell command. Here is the TPA uh, accept cancellation time limit. Right now it's for two minutes because everything is in seconds. Uh, this is if somebody asks to TP to you or TP you to them. You have two minutes to accept and if you don't accept in that time limit they would have to send another request to you. So far so good. Um, this is the max amount of homes you would like people to be able to set like for example the default class can set three homes, VIP can set five and staff can set ten. Uh, on a regular survival server anything like that this is pretty straightforward but immediately when you have um, a minigame server or anything like that I like to customize it uh, for each and everything. So right now I will just let it be. As I get more plugins into the server you will see it fold together a lot more I think. Uh, over to the part I like the most, the economy. Starting balance, uh, you choose whether you would like people to start with money or not at all. And also how people would uh, make money. Uh, I normally download other plugins like for example for prison, you have a prison plugin so they can make money there. And um, for a town server or a survival server, they can either sell stuff or work their way up to make money and then you can uh, in return uh, for example some commands here that cost money let's say you have a survival server uh, kit tools can cost as example 1500 then people get the ability to for example just go out and mine a lot of uh, stone and sell it and grind the way up to buy the kits or buy the diamonds instead of mining for them. Some people might just like farming and would like uh, to upgrade their equipment and then they could go to the store, sell off their food and uh, buy some diamonds or whatever they want to upgrade their equipment. This is the symbol of uh, what currency you use. I'm just going to leave that to the dollar sign. This is the maximum amount of money somebody can have on their account. And this is the minimum account. This is the format where the money is going to be in. The default is the US one. Which means uh, for this it's the comma and then the period sign for before the cents. The reason I'm not going through all of this is because this would be a probably an hour or two long video if I was going through everything specifically. Uh, it's not too hard to uh, read it yourself. It's just read the green lines and it explains everything pretty nice and simple. Here, protection. These are the standard basic Minecraft rules if you would like to change any of them. Uh, like lava flow if you'd like to disable lava from flowing. This is if uh, you don't want these creatures to spawn. If you don't want pigs to spawn you set it to true. If you don't want iron golems to spawn, you set it to true, villagers, weather, whatever. It's up to you. I like to have everything uh, default at the beginning and then I see how the server folds. Uh, this is the maximum height a creeper should be allowed to explode. Uh, right now they can explode everywhere, but if you set this to, for example, 64, I think that's the water limit, which means they would explode uh underneath water which means in all the caves and mines but above water which would mean all the mountains and the ground where you build your house and everything they wouldn't be able to explode here if you would like pvp or not 
here is if you want to disable the weather options like storm, thunder or lightning. I'm just going to keep that uh, on for now. This is the essentials anti-build. I'm also keeping everything here as standard as you possibly can. Uh, this is if you want alerts on your server for uh, people placing lava or using or breaking. Uh, normally on standard servers I don't use this a lot unless it's like bedrock for example. And uh, then you can blacklist it which means it will be prevented from like here. You can't place it, you can't use it, you can't break it, you can't, uh, it can't be moved by pistons and it can't not be dispensed by dispensers and this is pretty much all the loops around the system the only thing that's not here is a hopper i think and a dropper here are the welcome message for new people here are the spawn for them the kit then we're on the end of the file this is the warps when you create them they get saved in this folder it's nice to just have a list of all the warps you have created and you can go in there and delete them if you don't remember everyone. Okay, we're going on to the server. Uh, I just got to start that and start my Minecraft and I'll meet you there. Okay, I'm back on the server. Uh, this is the spawn of a server so far. Uh, now that I'm here in the spawn, I'm just going to test out the commands. You can type help and essentials. And then you get all of the essentials commands. Now this is only page 1 out of 17, so you type essentials and 2. And so on and so forth for all the different commands. No, I'm not going to go through every one of them unless it's highly requested. Because there are a hell of a lot of commands here. The one I like the most is the uh, economy. Uh, here, if you just take eco, you can say uh, see all the commands that's related to it with give, take, set, and reset. Uh, I think it's the slash ball command. And there's my balance. Now, was it slash worth? Stack of turf worth one dollar. That's because it's one dollar each. Now the grass can't be sold, stone is worth three dollars actually. So anyway guys, um, that's all I had for today. If you have any questions at all, leave it in the comments below. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe to stay up to date on my newer videos. And uh, thanks for watching, bye.